Welcome back to Clueless Tech. Today we will see how to work with shared preferences. Android uses is one of the way of shared preferences to store and retrieve data. With the help preferences, we can insert the data and retrieve its value back. So, today we will see how we can save the data by clicking on a button and display the entire text into the text view. So, let's start with designing. So first, from the palette, search for plain text and drag and drop over here. And also button, drag and drop over here. So now from this design XML, we will give the alignment to the edit text and button. So I am copying this alignment code over here. Okay, now from the design view, we will give proper alignment where to place the button and this edit text. Okay, now, okay, now remove this text from the text view and make it little bigger so we can see the result proper. Okay, now give ID to this text view of result and id to the button of submit and id to this edit text of enter value you can give id any i am giving it my way okay now let's give value to this button of submit at the rate swing slash submit ok now go to the split view over here and press alter enter and select create string value resource submit ok the view submit enter value go to submit now from the project select resource values and strings.xml you will see the string declared over here okay now give let's give hint to this edit text remove the text and uh, right in android in at the rate string slash enter value press alter alter enter and write it value enter value okay see okay enter value okay now come back to this design view and see it is displayed over here okay now let's write code for shared preference first declare the button edit text and the text over here private button submit okay import the cl button class now private edit text enter value private text view result and also declare the set preference private set preference set preference okay now let's write code now first fetch this button and edit text id over here enter value is equal to find view by id r dot id dot enter value result is equal to 
find view by id r dot id dot result submit is equal to find view by id r dot id dot submit now let's write on click listener of this button submit dot set on click listener new view dot set on click listener okay now this on click method let's write code of self references to fetch the data share preference is equal to get share preference we have to declare a string and mode of the share references string name and integer mode get share reference string my reference and mode is equal to zero okay share preferences dot editor editor is equal to shared preference dot edit editor dot put string the your string will be key value here key will be message and the value will be enter value dot get text dot to string This uh, preference dot editor is used to display the value of this entered value in the edit text into the text view. Okay, so let's try to display the result. Result dot set text message plus. Uh, Enter value dot get text dot to string. Okay. So now let's run and check whether it is running properly or not. Okay. So let's write value. Welcome to clueless check submit. So the message is displayed, but when we reopen this app the message will not be able to see so let's write code to display this message so uh, let's get uh, data back said preferences is said uh, preferences is equal to get uh, said preferences preference my preference and uh, mode will be again zero okay so if preference is dot contains the key where the key which we have given here will be message if preferences will contain message then Let's create a string variable. String message is equal to references dot get string message and uh, if no value will be not found. Okay, and uh, let's print this message return. Oh, sorry. Result dot uh, set text message plus this message string message. Okay, so let's run. Okay, so let's check whether it is running properly or not. Welcome to clueless tech and submit okay so now let's close this app and open it again 
and let's check whether the message is saved or not and yes it is working properly clueless clueless tech Yes, it worked. 